What I'd like to know is how the music comes about. Uh, you know, your music is folk based, but there's lots of different elements. I can, you know, tell uh, a little bit about the country influences and the blues influences and the New Orleans type of thing, but, but uh, the song comes. How does it come? Well, it's actually really interesting because it comes in every possible way. Um, it, we, we write in every possible combination. It, uh, there's not one person who does lyrics, one person who does music. It's always a blend. Mm -hmm. I would say uh, at least about 99% of the time, you mm -hmm. know, and, and it's a very good writing relationship and um, ideas come from everywhere. A myriad of sources. Yeah. And Renee's a, a poet and so we've taken some of her poetry and put it to music and... Amy's um, a poet. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. <laughs> oh, um, I feel the love. <laughs> And uh, we try we try to tell stories because stories are m what's most interesting. And then also we try to be as vulnerable as possible in music because that's a really good catharsis for people, you know. And um, right. Um, and, and and like she said, as far as writing the music, sometimes we'll write music together, sometimes separately, and then the words together. It's just it's a really great combination of all kinds of different things. And then. Renee, we try to uh, weave our voices and like not say, you have to stay down there and I have to stay up here, you know. Mm -hmm. We try to weave our voices uh, uh, in and out. So you, sometimes you can't really tell who's singing what. And Renee is extraordinary at, at her harmony work and uh, making it Shucks. unique. And oh, goodness. <laughs> I feel the love. <laughs> the love is there. When your voice is high and your voice quite, isn't quite high, I mean, you tend to gravitate towards the lower harmonies. Right. To, and, <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> well, because well, she used to be a man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. We, yeah, yeah no, that's a whole other show. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this that will Jerry come Springer. on after 9 p.m. <laughs> and that's why you shaved your head in Holland, which we might get into. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, a little teaser. <laughs> okay. Uh, why low? That's my comfort range, I mm -hmm. guess. You okay. know, I was an alto in choir. All right. And you tend to sing the lead in, in most of them uh, are these songs that were the lyrics are coming from both of you absolutely okay. yeah 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 it's it is so she's your puppet basically no. oh so. yeah <laughs> absolutely i'm her ventriloquist <laughs> doll <laughs> oh, i'm the dummy it's really uncomfortable <laughs> no it's it really is we can't express enough what a blend that it is i mean mm -hmm. it really is you know always just both of us coming together on the words and the music and right. adding parts and and so it is. It's a great chemistry. Right. It's the kind of uh, of harmony. And I've sung a lot of harmony with a lot of different people, but you can't. You have to grow that stuff from scratch. I mean, it's either a sibling type of a thing or years and years of experience, and you can't, you right. just can't make it up. And we're from <laughs> Kentucky, so originally we could be sibling sibling. Yeah. On <laughs> no one knows for sure. Yeah, we're all related <laughs> there, really. <laughs> Genealogy.com. Yeah. Hatfield McCord. <laughs> we put exactly. the Ken in Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> they need to spell it K I N. <laughs> I haven't heard it quite like that before. Oh, yeah. We oh. hear it too much. Yeah, but you foster it, too. You know. <laughs> part, of course. Part, part of the thing. Sure, know, why not? Good. But you travel all around. I mean, you're mm -hmm. still based out of Kentucky, mm -hmm. and you'd said you got a little cabin in southern Indiana, mm -hmm. and uh, I know that. You know, when we did the, the the Crooked River Groove show, your guitar blew up the, the day before, and you were supposed to play in Detroit, but you mm -hmm. had to go down south to down south, okay, mm -hmm. to uh, <laughs> somewhere to Louisville, Kentucky, to Louisville, yeah. okay. then drive to Detroit, then drive all night to get here and on two and a half hours sleep to Crooked River Groove. Was, no one knew it. it yeah, you fun. couldn't tell it off. I'm sure <laughs> it was the trucker drugs. That right, really took right. Off. I'm just kidding. And the loving dogs in the in the van. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. So different. tell me about the dogs. Tell us about the dogs. They are the road dogs, aren't they? Yes, they are. We have a, a little lasso, Abso, that travels with us and has for nine years. Ever. Wow. And there's a little, a one and a half year old, well, not little, but a big, hundred pound black lab bloodhound mix that was actually uh, we found in the woods, abandoned, and his eyes weren't even open yet. Oh. So we had to, we had to look, look up on the egg. internet yeah, how to feed him a formula. And yeah. Yeah, so they travel with us, except they didn't travel with us to Europe. We okay. had to leave them for that. Yeah. So. So. But we did travel over in Europe and went to six different countries. We uh, decided that we wanted to go, so we got one-way tickets. We had $100. Oh, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> no gigs scheduled. 
And uh, we flew over there, arrived in Amsterdam, and um, played on the streets and camped and hitchhiked. And um, well, we blew through that hundred dollars in two days. <laughs> that got us out on the streets really fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and ended up going to six different countries. Uh, we went to, we were in the Netherlands, and we went to Belgium, Switzerland, Germany, France, France and, and Spain. Spain. Wow. Pick up any languages? You have to know we where did, the but we've forgotten them now. Languages. We learned, really, we learned. One of our favorite things was learning, like what a word, you know, would mean here would have a very different meaning there. So we made a whole list of those. But that again is another show. But the Spanish. And another list. Right. right. <laughs> We're starting. Yeah, maybe a little OCD. We mean. <laughs> um, the Spanish were so generous to teach us. We we learned. Yeah from them the most really mm -hmm. but it was funny because we learned it in Barcelona so we learned Spanish with a lisp and then we kept speaking <laughs> it with a lisp so people just thought we had a lisp <laughs> all the time we were there yeah. and then when we were in the Netherlands because we tried to like learn the name of our group in every language mm -hmm. and and then we'd have a little sign saying we're you know troubadours von Bleiheid whatever we were von and spiritual Bleiheid, Bleiheid or yeah or and uh, thank you for listening and in in the language and and so we realized we had a sign that said donk you well thank you very much right mm -hmm. and except we spelled it with a V instead of a W so we were actually saying thank you skin for like two months <laughs> <laughs> and, no and this guy trying. came up and he's like <laughs> <laughs> like do you realize you say thank you skin <laughs> <laughs> like oh um, so we changed that Okay, so back in the States, yes, yes. and you have a song that has uh, images of Montana and everything. Uh, it's called H.H. Uh, H. Doolittle, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so how did that song come about? Well, we were in the car, uh, driving around, can you imagine? <laughs> to and another gig? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and uh, NPR came on, and we heard one of the announcers, Mar Lyason, or someone say, H.H. H. Doolittle runs a cherry farm in Bigelswick, Montana, along Bitterroot Range. And I was like, ah, oh, uh, that sounds nice, let's you know. Turn the car. <laughs> yeah, woo! I wish I was H.H. H. And so it just kind of led to thinking of, um, you know, it's, it's magical being able to travel to different places and meet, you know, right. people. But it's always a balance, right, between being with people and then being alone in nature and having that, you know, creative um, time. That creative time and that, mm -hmm. you know, spirit time. and. So uh, just kind of wishing to find our piece of land, and and so uh, that's where that came from. Just that uh, that desire to find your little bit of green in this world, you know, and also your inner peace. You know, it's right. very symbolic. Right. Well, so if you play it for us, and, and if I close my eyes, will I find that inner peace? I hope so. Okay. <laughs> Which, let's try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Feel free to play along now, right?
living my dream Humble, humble, humble Like do little Humble, humble, humble Like do little H.H. do little Runs a cherry farm Suddenly happy and it's never no worse Eyes on the sunset I can only imagine Being there listening and drinking iced tea I can find peace of mind When a friend of mine Who let us live in my dream Humble Thanks very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amy and Renee, thanks for joining us on Words and Music. It's been really fun, like, hearing you and hearing your stories about the road. And, and I'm wanting to get the keys to my car and just kind of like say, I'm going to go somewhere. All right. Let's go do it. Okay, well, thanks Good. a lot. Thank you for having us. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm Tommy Wiggins, and you're watching Words and Music. We've been talking to Amy and Renee, troubadours of divine bliss, about songwriting, making music, and their lives on the road. Join us again next week for more Words and Music. Music